thanks for dropping in. Hallie here. Hallie. Uh, we are going to paint on a plate today. Hey, plate. <laughs> we are going to turn this plain little plate into something really cute. Just a few little grates and stuff. I've already done the cake plate, which I will post for you can see what this is going to go to the set with. And I'm just cleaning up my loose ends and I thought, let's just share this on YouTube. <laughs> to show you some real easy peasy, simple ways to decorate something just really plain in your house and kind of give you some fun, little therapeutic, you know, action while everything's going on in your staying home and staying safe these days. So without any further ado, I do. <laughs> Remember to click and like and subscribe. Ring that bell, smash that button, okay? For we can uh, keep you flowing with all the new shares that we'll be doing going forward. style. Notice how we have two vines on here. So we're going to do the squiggle two vines and I'm going to show you the technique using on this particular share is these are paint pins and you can pick these up at Michael's, Amazon or just all kinds of different places but they're just your acrylic paint pins. If you do get the oil based one they come out with more of a clear um, stained glass type effect. So you may want to do the acrylic and what we're going to do is we're going to bake these in so they're not going to wash off for you. Also, I do have the Sharpies and this is the oil based one. And I wanted that because I'm going to use this to accentuate and accent some of my um, my vines and stuff to give them just a little bit more pop. So the colors we, we have green for the vines, white, just to give a little pop, just to highlight purple, purple grapes. <laughs> and you can pick the purple you like and then brown for the vines and black just for a little bit more shadowing and to make it pop. I also have my two paint brushes here. This one is a long fil um, fillery type one with the, your long swiggle lines. And full disclosure, I've never used this one yet. I just bought it. I'm so excited because it's so, it's just the right size. So we're going to try this out for vines. And then just a little tiny, tiny tip that is just to accent, just to give that little detail. Remember when we do glass painting, you always clean your glass with alcohol. And I picked this little bottle up at the Dollar Tree, I think. And then this was a little spray bottle they had there. So I just took the top off, put it on my alcohol and good to go. What you're going to do is you're going to clean your glass. So you're going to spray it, which I've already cleaned this glass because I knew I was going to be doing this, but I want to go through the steps with you. Clean your glass really good. Make sure you have all your fingerprints and everything off of this glass. Reason for that is the um, fingerprints when you go to bake it, they'll bake into your glass. So make sure you have all your little spots off of your glass. I'm gonna tilt my camera down for they can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna tilt this a little bit for you can see what I'm doing. Super easy to do. A little bit harder when I'm doing it on here for you to see, but you're just gonna squiggle. Just put some little squiggles on there. Like that. They don't have to be fancy or anything. Bring this back. And what I think is I'm gonna just do like a little section here, just to see how it looks with just a couple little clusters on it. So that's my vine squiggle. You don't have to be a major artist to be able to do that. That's pretty easy. And then we're going to do the grapes. And grapes are easy too. You're just gonna dot them. So you're just gonna add your little clusters in. And when you're using the paint pins, they're pretty easy to do. See how easy that is? You can complicate it by using your um, more detailed techniques. I just wanted to keep it easy peasy because I know a lot of people are home during quarantine right now that are just looking for something to do. And this is more of a um, color in the coloring book type. <laughs> anyway, it's just easier to do. So. I wanted to do something super easy for you guys. So we're just gonna put the little clusters in here. And I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna put this down for a second. See if you can see. 
So you just type a cluster your grapes together just like you would how they would look in the store or at home. So give yourself some cute little clusters there. Then of course, grape vines always have the little brown tips on them. And the thing to think about too when you're doing art is they don't have to be perfect. They really don't. Just have fun with it. Don't try to be, you know, really meticulous and perfect. That'll just stress you out. It'll just stress you out. So anyway, so see? Now we're gonna use the black just to accentuate just a couple plot spots here. And then the white is gonna make, make those grapes pop a little bit. Okay, so the white's gonna make it pop. See, there's a couple of whites in there. Just a couple, don't put a whole lot in there because if you do, it's just gonna over, overpower it. But see how that white makes it pop a little bit more? So this little is gonna go with this cake cover. We're not going to go real crazy and put a whole bunch of grapes on these. We're just going to put two little clusters because that will accent and not be overpowering. Sometimes less is best. You don't have to have all that stuff because this one's pretty well detailed. And the re reason, you know, laugh at this one, but the reason this is detailed is when I baked it, I noticed that the glue showed. It was kind of yellowish in there where they glued the pedestal onto it. So what I did is I just covered it up with the paint with more clusters. <laughs> so anyway, 